throw is, is pretty obvious that was an outstanding football team that we played today. Uh, we try to uh, obviously match them. Uh, they have a lot of skill, a lot of strength, and a lot of speed. Uh, fine representative of our league champion, and uh, uh, we wish them the best of luck. That's a doggone good football team, and uh, got to take your hats off because uh, they did it in uh, every way you could do it on the ground, in the air, and played outstanding defense and kicking game as well. So there's the statement. Well, you know, we came out at halftime and they put run on us, and that was obviously disappointing. And, and when that happens for an offense, you have to find a way to match. And uh, with the three and out and no match, and, and then uh, them being able to do that again, that really kind of almost closed the door on what was going to be happening in the second half. Coach, you've seen this uh, Northern Illinois team You know, the last year's team, you kind of felt more like it was a, a one-man guy on offense and a fantastic safety on defense. But, uh, you know, it's, it's always interesting when you lose those superstars, so to speak, what your team matures to be the next year. And this team is ex extremely, extremely complete. They may not have a superstar on, on the offensive side or defensive side, but their top 22 not only play well together, but uh, they play extremely hard. Not the audience for it's all hot. Will you talk a little bit about the offense? I mean, it looked like you were trying to establish the run to give yourself some passing lanes. What kind of talk a little bit about the game plan if you would please? Well, we just we felt like we could have an opportunity to maybe max protect a little bit and get the ball further down the field, but uh, you know, their corners did an outstanding job, twenty nine, I can't remember his name. He was doing an outstanding job on our receivers. And uh, the pass rush was consistent all night long. And I think it had to be frustrating. It looked like it was basically a four-man rush. I didn't see a lot of blitzing that I. <clears throat> yeah, you missed some. <laughs> but it it, 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 was, it was enough to keep you off balance and not allow you to go one way or another. It was a good game plan on your part. Will, will you talk a little bit about Gehrig's play? I mean, you needed some kind of spark, and he went up and got a ball and. You know, it was exciting to see that. Uh, you know, we know that uh, Garrick's a fantastic player. He's a guy that's going to be getting the ball more and more as he uh, as his career lengthens here at BG. And uh, I was excited to see him do that. He's a big, strong guy, and uh, we expect him to do that a lot. And we'll give him a lot of opportunity in the near future. Garrick, will you talk a little bit about that play? It looked like it was a little underthrown. Please, if you would talk. About that. Uh, uh, the corner was pressed and there was no safety over top and uh, I knew my route and I just won at the line and James threw, a, um, threw it a little bit under me and um, the coaches have been telling me to be aggressive to the ball when it's in the air and that's what I was and came up successful. Did you notice the spark after that touchdown? I mean, it, it, I would assume it caused some excitement. Yeah, I felt the spark uh, in the whole team. My defense got to stop the next drive and um, I felt like things were rolling and, and then it just hit halftime and then... Um, <coughs> They came out strong at halftime and um, just ran away with the game. Gabe, will you talk a little bit about what the, the defensive game plan was? I mean, was it were you focused more run, pass, or? Um, our, our game plan came out. Uh, we wanted to stop the run early and uh, try to make it into a, a throw game for them. But I mean, they were successful uh, in both aspects. They were able to throw in, run the ball today. We didn't. Uh, we didn't play well defensively. Did you feel like the run, their ability to pass and complete passes and move it down the field kind of opened up the run for them? Um, I mean, uh, I guess a little bit. Um, a lot of it, a lot of the big plays was simply just uh, just misfits by us. Um, not to take nothing away from those backs because uh, all three of them played a heck of a game. Um, they played really well today, but. Um, we didn't, uh, we didn't execute well on defense um, as far as being gap sound like we wanted to be. And uh, it's, 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 it's tough to, to expect to stop a team in the run game if, uh, if you can't execute run fits properly. <coughs> Will you guys both, if you would, talk a little bit about the emotion at this point, especially having lost, you 
you know, lost three in a row. Just would you talk a little bit about the emotion? Um. I say um, it, it, it sucks, to be honest. Um, losing three in a row, all tough games. Um, spending all the way back to Toledo, um, then last week, and then now this week. Um, it's tough, but the best thing about this game is we get another opportunity. Um, we'll get a chance at a bowl game. Um, so what we got to do is um, put this one behind us. It's going to be tough, but just got to look forward to the next one. Can you talk a little bit about the emotion offensive on the offensive level? Um, it's definitely frustrating. Uh, we know what we had to do, and um, just the past couple games, we haven't been executing like we should be. And uh, like Gabe said, it's just disappointing, and it sucks that we've been losing, but um, we're going to stick together as a team and go into this bowl game with a, a good attitude and hopefully come out with a W. Coach, you said uh, yesterday they had a tough run game. You need your passing game to go. Well, I mean, you, you look at some of those those turnovers, and you, you're trying to make plays, and you know, deep balls here, deep balls there. Then you get a turnover and another teno turnover, and then the classic is is this: you know, you get the fumble recovery, and then you get the ball knocked out, and they get the fumble back. And it, it was just one of those nights. You know, they're too good of a football team to give them extra opportunities to beat you. If they're going to win the turnover battle, uh, they're going to be hard to beat. Started off the game hot. We knew what we were going to do. We were going to come out and try to pound them and then hopefully open it up deep. But um, they did a good job with their corners. Um, and after that, it just felt like we were in an uphill battle. And we just couldn't produce for our defense. And we kept them on the field, which really hurt, um, hurt the whole team. So um, we put, really put that one on the offense just because of how long we kept the defense on the field and uh, how punishing their uh, run game was. How hard was it? Um, I honestly thought we had the momentum going into halftime, uh, going down, having um, Tate kick that field goal. I thought that was a big thing, and we were only down by 10 going into half, and um, we just came out um, and just didn't execute in the second half. Coach, how would you describe the play of the offensive line today? It seemed like uh, NIU had some you know, it's hard to tell without without looking at the tape. I think we have a good offensive line. I think they're physical. I mean, we had a back over 100 yards versus a very physical defense. You know, and that's in a game where you're you're throwing the ball a lot, a lot more than you would have been if the game was a lot closer, and you'd have gave him a lot more opportunities. There's no telling what, uh, you know, Travis could have done if the score was more even. So I think we have a good a good offensive line. I think it's. You have to take your hat off. You got to give those guys some credit. I mean, this is a very, very good defensive front seven. We talked about it the other day, and uh, you got to pick and choose. You know the things that you're going to do against it. And I thought uh, our offensive line, for the most part, held its own. Dino, uh, circling back just to the audio stuff at the beginning, just your overall thoughts related to the game. Um. You know, I thought it was a very physical game. I think this is a very, very good football team, and I think it's a fine representative of, of, our, of our conference. And, uh, you know, my hat goes off to Coach Carey. These guys have only lost twice. And when you look at uh, not only the, the game teams they have to play in the East and the West Conference, along with some of the non-conference games that we have in this conference, I think that uh, truly you could, I mean, truly you could see that uh, there's no doubt. They left no doubt in everyone's mind. Uh, who the best football team in the conference is this year? Yeah, Gabe, they, they, what about they ran 100 plays? How tough was it for them not being able to get up the field and being out there so much? Um, it was tough, uh, but we put that one on ourselves. We didn't tackle well at all today, um, myself included. I missed a ton of tackles today, and uh, we didn't get off the field on third down. <coughs> if you don't tackle well and you don't get off the field on third down, it's, it's kind of tough to get off the field. And if you don't get off the field, you're going to be tired.
That's how drives go for a long time, and uh, that's how you get winded. Do you, do you feel like fatigue played a factor into them kind of falling away towards that, towards that quarter? Um, I mean, maybe a little bit, um, but at the end of the day, it comes down to execution. Tired or not, we still got to execute as a team, and we got to tackle as a team. We had people in position to make plays. We just weren't coming up with the plays today. They made more plays than we did. Dave, how important is it? Obviously, you guys have lost three, but you still have another chance to go out to, to right the ship and go out, especially for seniors, you know, to log for them when they know now, you know, thinking ahead. Um, it's, it's super important because um, it's my last time I get to put on the orange and brown uh, and play with these boys. Um, I love this team with all my heart. Um, there's nowhere else where I'd rather be tonight than, than on the field with this team. So this next game means everything to me. Coach, could you let's take one more for Coach Babers and then we'll get going. Thank you. Will you talk a little bit about your emotion at this point, <clears throat> especially having lost three in a row and so forth? Well, my my emotion goes back to these back to these seniors. Uh, they're two times East champions. They were defending MAC champions. They, we didn't get it done tonight. Uh, this is the fourth year that they'll fourth straight year that they'll go to a bowl <coughs> game. And I'd like for them to have an opportunity to win one. And uh, I understand what that, uh, the opponent that we played. I understand how good that football team was. Believe me, out of all the people in this room, I understand. But I love these guys. I love these seniors. I love what they've done for this university. And I'm looking forward to getting back on the field and hopefully being able to uh, lead them to their first bowl victory. Thank you, John. Thank you.